طيب السلام عليكم يا اخوان اول شيء انا عارف اني يعني قطعت سنه تقريبا وعارف اني حيوان واني ما عندي افكار اقسم بالله يعني موضوع اصعب بكثير من ما تتوقعوا انك تلاقي افكار وانك يعني تلاقي شيء يستحق انك تشرحه في اليوتيوب خصوصا انه يعني حاليا قنوات الانمي كثيره جدا كلهم شارحين نفس الاشياء وكلهم مسوين نفس الاشياء اللي انا كان في بالي اني اشرحها فيعني اعذروني اول شيء على هذه السحبه وثاني شيء اليوم جبت لكم يعني فيديو مفيد وجميل ورهيب ان شاء الله انه يفيدكم بس انه يعني بشكل عام شيء فكره يعني ما حد شرحها قبل ويعني انا فخور جدا في هذا الانجاز ان شاء الله انه الاقي برضه افكار اكثر لاني بصراحه عندي يعني شغف كبير اني اشرح واني افيد الناس سواء في اطار الانمي او خارج اطار الانمي يعني وبس والله نترككم مع الفيديو What's going on guys? It's Conan and I'm back with another video. In today's video I'm going to be demonstrating how to make the spiral text effect as shown. Okay, let's get straight into it. Now the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my comp. So my comp is 1920 by 1080 and it's 30 frames. The duration does not really matter because you know it's just like you know for the free free space now that we're here first i'm going to be adding my text so to add your text you should hit shift alt control and t now we added our text layer uh, now on that text layer i'm going to be adding my text which is going to be conan right now note that this method is a manual method I'm gonna be making it with 3D animations and 3D camera. So no effects are gonna be used. I'm not gonna be using any effects in this method. So I'm gonna be pasting it manually. My text is gonna be pasted manually to make the spiral look bigger and longer. Anyways, now that we did this to our text, duplicated it like multiple times, I'm gonna be adding a mask. Now the mask is gonna be a circle mask. So. Before we do that, I'm going to be aligning my text just as shown. So now I'm going to be adding my mask. The mask is going to be a circle mask. So we do that and we hit shift while doing it. So it, you know, it stays in a circle shape. Now I'm going to be putting that circle in the middle to make it very centered in. You see this small rectangle? Choose grid and guide options. I'm gonna be clicking on that. Proportional grid. So now that we have the proportional grid, I'm gonna be aligning my circle mask on that grid. Just like that. Now I'm gonna be changing this text so this mask is gonna turn into a path instead of a mask so the mask will become a path for that text to do that you're gonna be heading over to your text layer text drop down path options click on path options and choose mask one this way my text is now in a circle shape now that we have our text like that i'm gonna be heading to animate now I'm going to be going to enable per character 3D. Now that we enabled it, we're going to go to animate again. I'm going to be choosing the position animation. And I'm going to be heading over to my text layer again on range selector for the animator. I'm going to be dropping down. I'm going to be choosing advanced drop down arrow again. The shape. I'm going to be changing the shape to ramp up from square and now I'm going to be increasing this just like that. Now the more you increase the value, the more spiral it becomes. And as I said, this method is manual, so maybe we will have to add so much more texts just like that and increasing it more as you can see so now the more i increase it the more depth it gives now as you can see what i did here is basically give that text a bit of depth and now you see all this 
if I add a camera, which is Control Alt Shift and C, the preset is going to be 15 millimeters. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to be adding Control Alt Shift and Y for the null, and then hit Control D again to make a duplicate of that null. I'm going to be linking two nulls, and I'm going to be linking my camera to the null, and I'm going to be enabling 3D on both of them. This way, I made a 3D scene, and the 3D layer under it is going to be the layer that's going to move with the nulls that I linked to my camera, or the camera that I linked to my nulls. And now if I move in, as you can see here, it's showing me how I'm going inside of that text as a spiral motion is happening, which is a pretty cool effect and now you can just you know adjust the graphs as you can see you know like make a stiff graph or something i don't know whatever you like and now if we preview it as you guys can see i made this cool spiral effect and i can you know i can make the graph a little bit like you know less stiff because i wanted to like you know show how like the text is moving inside basically you can add even more stuff like you know animation you can add rotation to your animation as you can see you can add a lot of stuff it gives a very nice look to your text and i think this is the end of it this is probably like all I have to demonstrate for today. So, um, but before before I before I close that video, there's just one more thing I'm gonna be talking about. Okay, so what I'm gonna be talking about is a second method. What is the second method? The second method is basically um, instead of making a circle mask on your text and duplicating it so much you're basically going to be making another mask but it's not going to be circular it's going to be a spiral mask now how do i do that i don't know how to make a spiral mask in after effects basically you're going to be needing adobe illustrator and this is why i saved this method for last because i'm going to be dropping a project file containing that spiral mask in particular so you can copy that mask and use it instead of you know a circle mask okay so let's break this down first as you can see guys I'm, I'm in Adobe Illustrator now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that spiral tool and if you don't have it you can you know click here and you're, you're gonna see in your tools a spiral tool you're gonna click on it and grab it here and it will appear here but it will pop up on the toolbar I'm gonna be clicking on it and pressing left click with shift this makes a spiral effect for me and I'm gonna make the segments um, increase to 40 because it's gonna look better now this mask here I'm gonna be clicking Control and C on it. This way, I copied this path. And now, if I head over to After Effects, I'm gonna be clicking Control V. And this way, I copied this path. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be clicking on that mask and, you know, double click. I'm gonna be making it bigger to fit my my text now what i'm going to be doing is basically clicking on that mask or sorry clicking on that text the path options and choosing mask one this way the spiral that once was a circle spiral now is a very cool spiral that's a spiral wait what what the fuck did i just say anyways now to fix it you're only gonna remove some of that text Just like that. Now the inside, you know, you can you can also fix that. It's no problem. As you can see, I fixed it. 
and you know it's it's different it's definitely different you can work with the way that spyro is coming you can work with anything you want to work with it's literally up to you how you want it to appear but i was you know trying to make it clear that you can work with both and like i said this uh, spiral mask if anyone doesn't have adobe illustrator i'm gonna be leaving a project file with this mask inside for you to copy it and paste it in your project on your text and make the same things i did and go crazy with it just have fun now we reached the end of our tutorial thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and you can also contact me on discord if you need help with anything i'm gonna be leaving my discord in the description for any question thank you guys again and i'm sorry that i took that long to drop this video yeah it's been conan peace